Zoe? Why is the same man in all your drawings? Yes? Oh, you haven't decided to move out, have you, Mr. Bennett? No, Miss Grimm. Oh, good. I don't like looking for new tenants, you know. It's so much trouble for me. Miss Grimm, have you seen anyone visit Zoe lately? Been up to a flat? Oh, I don't see, Mr. Bennett. I hear. I know everyone's steps in this house. No one I don't know has passed through this door. I knew it was you when you came down the stairs. Well, you may have missed them having No, that. no, no one I don't know has been to see your partner. Well, is that the notice you were going to hand me? We're not leaving, Miss Grimm. Dant? What did you say? Where did you find this portrait of Dant? Do you know this man? I know everyone in this house, Mr. Bennett. Dant is the man who's been visiting Zoe. What are you talking about? He hasn't been to see your partner. Well, he's a tenant. Where's his flat? What is this nonsense you're saying? Tell me where I can find this Dant, please. Mr. Dant has been dead for almost a year now. Oh, poor man. He couldn't get over his wife leaving him. He couldn't live without her. He couldn't cope without his wife. I knew Mr. Dant very well. He was a fine police officer. He loved it here. You know, he, he killed himself up there in your room. A man killed himself in our flat. You didn't tell us, Miss Grimm? Oh, Mr. Bennett, people die every day. They have to die somewhere. Are you sure this is the man that killed himself? Yes, this is Kobe Dant. Me. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. You home early? Yeah.
do on some tea. I was going for my one. Yeah. He's not for me, Zoe. Oh, dear. <laughs> I thought you find them beautiful. thinking um now we can make a new start. Sorry? I don't feel alright. Okay. We just have to talk more. It won't be the same as before. We both know that. But time heals all. We can be good again. I need to sleep. I can't think straight. I'm lost, Sam. I'm confused. What did you say? I can't sleep. Don't play games with me, Zoe. You've done it again, haven't you? You <laughs> didn't, Sam. Zoe went out today to see Katie and Sam. Scrim, the late Dant, he used to live here. You said he killed himself? A gunshot through his mouth. Oh, God. I had to identify him, you know. And you've never seen him again? Mr. Bennett. Have you listened to one single word I've said? You've been out today? No. Why are you lying to me? I'm here. Why are you taking these? Are you sick? Why didn't you tell me? You're pale. Do you need to see a doctor? Uh, I'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm just oh. a little lightheaded. Tell me about the subject of your art project. 
<laughs> I've called it one on one with death. Mm. Hmm? It's a memorial of people who died alone in the city. Why do you choose dead people? I'm wondering if they would stay alone, even after death. I would find it terrifying to be condemned to loneliness. Mm. Can souls be drawn together? I want you to go back to your writing. I miss you telling me your stories. It feels like an eternity since we talked. Jake, don't leave me. Yeah. Uh, I've got a fever. I can't come in. Okay, just cash up. Okay. Take care. Bye. Right. Zoe has company tonight. How can you do this to me? I knew you cheat on me again. I give you my trust, you throw my love right back in my face. Jake, I don't know what you're thinking, mate. Uh, Jake! Jake! Leave him alone! Katie! What do you think Sam's done this time? What are you doing here, Katie? What, what do you mean? Me and Zoe planned this together. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? It's hard to tell you anything. You're never here. Look, she couldn't find her iron pills. And Katie called me in a panic because Zoe was feeling faint. Why didn't you call me? She needs rest, Jake. She needs to tell you something. Jake. We won't be alone anymore. <laughs> 